Hey everyone, I'm Bill. And I'm Bogna. And we're with Cali Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to ANS Motorcycles here in Sacramento, California, where we have a special event. We are here with the Ducati Ready for Red event and uh, they're unveiling the brand new 2020 uh, Ducati V4 Street Fighter. I'm super excited because I've been looking, I've been looking, so we've got some great content about it. Um, they're giving me a few minutes after the event one-on-one -on -one with this thing, so stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, but uh, let's weed our way through this pack of people and see what's going on inside the Ducati showroom because there are a huge amount of people in here. So let's try to get our way through. All right, well, this is what everyone's anticipating. We are gonna be uh, here with Jason, the CEO, is here with the Ready for Red event and uh, just tons and tons of people ready to see this brand new V4 Street Fighter. But let's take a quick look. Uh, we've got the brand new V2 here. Uh, just absolutely stunning, gorgeous. And if you guys haven't seen, uh, this is the V4S that I uh, took out on a test ride here at ANS. So if you guys haven't seen uh, that test ride video, uh, we'll link it in the description above. But uh, this thing, God, I just, and I was just talking to Jason about it. And it's just so awesome about how he and Ducati have set up this, this bike, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. So if you guys are looking for a V4S, uh, they have one in stock ready to be sold. Um, also, what's really cool is they do have the uh, Ducati, I think this is the MIG RR. So this is their new kind of electric bikes. So very cool, but the amount of people is just so rad. So we're going to try to get front and center for you guys for Jason's unveil, so uh, stay tuned. So getting to the star of the show tonight, this is what we call the fight formula. So the Desmo Sedici Stradale engine with biplane wings, the V4 electronic suite, a high handlebar, we've removed the fairing, and 208 horsepower. So you guys made for this? Yeah. Come on, Sacramento. The new Street Fighter V4S. <laughs> so let's talk about this bike. And the very first thing we're going to discuss is the design. Because the design is the first thing that you see. And what's the first thing you see when you see somebody, when you first walk up to them? Come on. There you go, the face. And the face tells you a lot about somebody. And so we're going to tell you about the design and what inspired this motorcycle. This is the Joker. And the Joker obviously has a bit of a sense of humor, is a little bit of a prankster, but has, a, let's say, a little bit of an attitude and a vicious side to it. And the Joker actually inspired the, the face of the motorcycle, which is the headlight. And if you take a look at this, this rendering here and how it evolves, you can see how the design of the motorcycle and the face came to life here, giving you what is now the Street Fighter itself. So that is something that in a subtle way is meant to communicate a bit of the personality of the bike. In fact, that's something that every motorcycle that I look at nowadays, it's you look at the headlight and the face of it first and it tells you a lot 
We were just talking about a 916 earlier, and that's one of the motorcycles that definitely communicated something very strong and very distinctive back then. And then from the design, we moved to the rolling chassis, and we started with that proven rolling chassis of the Panigale V4. Basically, imagine us taking a Panigale V4, removing the bodywork, and this is our baseline, because we know it works. And we've added the biplane wings, and we've discussed with different people about why biplane wings as opposed to just the winglet that's out there. Well, if you notice that we don't have the same aerodynamic package on this, it doesn't have the wide front fairing, the taller front fairing, and also you have your own weight up on the motorcycle, a little bit of your less weight on the front end of the motorcycle because you have a higher handlebar. Because of that, the aerodynamics and the winglets had to be designed differently, yet they actually deliver the same amount of downforce, the 60 foot-pounds of downforce at 167 miles an hour, as the winglets on the V4 itself. And then moving from that, the Desmo Sedici Stradale engine, and this is the exact engine. There's been no change mechanically to the engine from the V4 uh, Panigale directly to this. That motor has basically moved right into this because it's proven and it's done well for us. But it actually produces the power differently. Instead of the 214 horsepower, it's 208. And I know you might think, oh, I got robbed six horsepower. But the reality is, is that we've actually increased the torque. And the idea is, is where this bike is to be ridden, you want that torque. You want that torque on the roads when you're going through the corners. You don't want to have to rev higher up into the RPM to get to where that is. You want to be able to lug that motor in third gear and to be able to crank through and have that gob of torque right there for you. If you take a look at the design in terms of the ergonomic triangle, it's one of those things that at first might sound like a really boring study, but it's after the first hour of riding the bike, you're thankful that that's been done. And our engineers have actually gone through here and with the intent of finding that perfect balance between performance and handling and comfort. And this is a pre-production motorcycle, but we're happy if you would like to feel free to go ahead and sit on the bike after uh, presentation and get a chance to feel what it's like between the seat and the handlebars. It's a very, very comfortable position in the foot pegs. And it isn't, the tank isn't exactly off the Pentagon V4, so there has been some refinements to the overall seating position as well. And then, of course, with all of that performance, you need the electronics to be able to support it as well. And this has the entire electronic suite from the Pentagon V4 that has actually been put into this motorcycle as well, with the intention of it being fine-tuned for, for this version. Um, and there's two different versions. There is the standard, and then there's the S. And the main difference is the S comes with the Olin's electronic suspension suite all across the board, along with forged uh, the forged Marchesini wheels. But if that isn't enough for you, uh, you can actually end up upgrading this motorcycle as well to putting on the full titanium Terminioni, excuse me, uh, this is Acropubic exhaust system that actually delivers an additional 6% in terms of horsepower, up to 220 horsepower. And between that and the wheels, you save almost 19 pounds total on the bike. So Street Fighter V4, we will actually start initial deliveries in April, let's call it mid-April of this year, uh, and we'll see press tests coming out not too soon, no, probably not too much in late March, early April also. But we know that it's a proven motorcycle, so it's just going to be fun seeing these things out there on the roads. Yeah. Alright guys, what an amazing event. Uh, it was awesome to have Jason, the CEO, here uh, and the unveil of that V4 uh, Street one? Fighter. Maybe two are coming to this stable. So thank you guys. We did want to post up another video so we will have the full presentation. If you guys did miss the Ready for Red event, we're going to have that up soon. So, uh, but just a quick summary. But thank you guys for sticking around and uh, we'll see you next video. Bye bye.